guys, Lost One here with another quick tutorial, this time on the multimeter from Thermal Expansion. The multimeter is used basically for measuring the amount of energy or liquids passing through either redstone conduit or liquid duct over there. Now if you right click on the conduit like so, you'll see in the bottom left that the saturation is 0.0%. Now that means that there is no power running through this at the moment. And if I go over here and click on the liquid duct, you'll see that it's moving the liquid water 1000 millibuckets and the throughput is 100 millibuckets. Now this isn't switched on at the moment so that is full so you just got the readings for how much it can basically hold or pass through at any one time. Okay back over here. Now as I said the saturation at the moment is 0%. Now if we were to go into the GUI of the cell here we can see I set the max output for 20 MJ per tick. So if we switch the power on quickly it should be getting power through now so if we right click on it again we'll see that the saturation is 1% now this is going to stay quite low at the moment because the internal buffers on these machines are filling up which will take a while but as you can see it's plenty of power is being drawn through so there's no backlog inside this pipe this conduit so but if I bump this right up to 100 there we go and then we start clicking on it again we should see the saturation slowly rise until the machines are full there we go, one's full just waiting on the magma crucible catching up now come on, hurry up ah, there we go right, now when we click on this again you'll see that the saturation is 100% now that's because there is a lot of power being fed through it but it's not being used so it's basically backlogged all the way along the conduit there so in essence what you will basically be using the multimeter for is checking to make sure you are providing the optimum amount of power for your machines or machine room um, to make sure you're not wasting fuel by leaving engines running when they're not needed as I said as this is a 100% saturation if this was uh, engines at this end, you'd be wasting fuel that's not be you know it's not needed because the machines aren't drawing that much power. What you should be aiming for is to keep your network saturation hovering between 80 and 95 percent saturation. I would have thought. Obviously, an easy way around this is just to fill up quite a few redstone energy cells, and then um, just switch off the engines when they're full and let them do their job because they won't overfeed the machines they'll just sort of feed feed it in as it's needed um, but definitely if you're running engines or multiple quarries and you wanted to check to make sure whether you're running them at the, the fastest speeds possible or without wastage you'll be wanting the multimeter just to make those little fine fine tunes to the system okay guys hope this was relatively helpful to you have fun